Hello guys, welcome to Microsoft ASP.NET MBC tutorial on how to make registration process, login process, authentication and session and this is part 2. We have already worked on registration process. Now we will move on to login process. Let's start. For this we are in home controller. We have already made a registration process for login process we will create another action result here i am in home controller and we are dealing with home folder here okay let's create a public action result at first we have a public action result with login name let's make a action result with login and return a view let's create a view for our login just right click and add a view it is same process as that in register we will use same create template since this is not creating our user but that create template will be helpful for us let's use our model user this here is ASP tutorial this means your project name dot models and data context your context whatever context you have written I have written here student context you can give your name if you have given another name there okay and Our login.chs.html has been created with the scaffolding method here with heading login and a form is there which is similar to our registration form but here we will just change instead of create we will make it login okay our student our user class is here with id username and password our context is here with db set user and object users this users must be in our database okay let's move on to our home controller mm, here our action result login has made uh, login.chs.html with scaffolding uh, let's see it how it looks while while this loads up let's see our another method we will be using that will be http post http post will uh, retrieve some data from user side and we will see that data whether that is uh, a genuine user or not that user is already registered or not there okay let's see it has been loaded still not loading Mm, let's discuss it here at first we will use http post method with same name login but this will be differentiated with our user class and user object after that we will use our context then this context will connect with our with our database and in another line we will be using a variable with the user logged in equals to db.users dot single or default this single or default with will retrieve a single row of data and this default will return null value if there is no any data with such username and password this x is a object we will be using in this way and x dot username means that database tables username is equals to our user provided username or not yes and if that database password is equal to our user provided password is or not if this both condition matches since an operator works with true 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 so this both condition must be true to um, get our um, data in user logged in okay if that username or password will be wrong there will be no any data at that time user logged in will get null value 
if there will be null value if there will not be log, log null value then we will display we will send a message logged in with tried once equals to yes and we will redirect our page to main page else if that user logged in will get null value then in that case we will use a view back dot try once equal to yes because that is tried already and return same view that is same view means same login view okay let's see that login page has been loaded or not yes that login page has been loaded yes you are logged in welcome to home page okay let's see that login page it is not our login page let's see it home slash okay, and login yes since we have made action result login then we have to see in our home folder login dot CHS that is home controller login action result okay our username and password will be asked here and that we have changed that create to login yes now we can put username and password but till now we are have not created to handle this username and password in our backend so let's create that okay let's create another action with the same name but this is not http get this is http post We have created another action result with name login but with parameter user that is user class and user object this user class user object is used here to retrieve the data from that login page that is we will get username and password that is user provided username or password here and when we get that username password we will connect to our database with this statement string context db equals to new string context you can write your own context and after that a variable is assigned here with name user logged in that db will connect to our database dot users will connect to our table name users and dot single or default will get a single or default null value if there is no any such row and yes dot username equals to username means uh, it will check that database username with user provided username and that database password with user provided password if both matches then there will be a single row which we want after that if user logged in have no, not null value if there is no null value then we will log in the user and redirect them to main page and if that user is not genuine if username or password doesn't match then we will redirect we will not redirect to main page we will show that login page again here okay now in login page since we have uh, given some viewback dot message here and viewback dot tried once let's let's use it there okay in login.chshtml if our viewback.message is null or viewback.null and viewback.tried once equals to yes if user has tried once that is provided username password once mm, in that case this will be yes and if viewback.message is null that is user is not genuine and it credentials doesn't match therefore we will show a uh, message username or password not match please log in again or register okay let's put it in our login.chshtml we will put it in uh, before our form ok now let's run it
okay let's at first check with a uh, wrong username and password i have not such username and password there in database let's click on login button this must display username or password not matched please log in again or register let's see which username and password is there in database and we will check it again mm, we have a users table in that table let's see which data are there mm, there is two roles with username first is Jibras and second is Vikas let's use that Vikas and Vikas123 in our username and password okay Vikas and that password is Vikas123 okay you just made it uh, type of password I have used type text you can use type password I have just to show you I have used this pass password as editor for that is mm, text equal to type equals to text you can change that to password now when we click with general username and password it must redirect us to main page but but we have not created main page here let's create that main page okay in home controller mm. in home controller we will make our another main page okay public action result main page return that view and made a view by clicking on add view let's create it come on main page without model let's just create it then this must redirect us to this page let's put some text there okay okay this must work for us let's see it again loading go to home login page waiting 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 you must have understand the concept that what we have done is it was we have created our login action result and created that view and with create template and after that we have used the http post method with same name but with parameter user and user and a context to connect to database and if there is that general user then there will not be null value otherwise there will be null value if null value return to same view if not null value return to main page let's see it again okay let's put the genuine username with password because one two three let's check it out now we are redirected to main page in this way you can use your home page also if user is logged in take the user to home page or if user has not logged in take them to register or login page okay guys this much for the logging process thanks for watching